climbing. Hills, mountains, bergs, you name it. Us cyclists, we love it. Well, most of us do anyway. The achievement, the challenge and the breathtaking views. But there's no getting away from the fact that climbing, well, it's hard. So we thought we'd gather a few tips that we've learned over the years that make climbing just that little bit easier. Well, there are actually a few cheat tips, let's say. Let's go. Right, we're gonna start off with the most obvious one and it is just don't pedal up the climb. Now you're thinking, well, man, how is that even possible? Well, it's all you need is a super strong friend to drag you up. But you wanna do it in a way so they don't know. So you wanna pedal up next to them and then gradually hold on and gradually stop pedaling. And they'll just think they're having a really bad day on the bike. And if you're lucky enough to make it up the whole way up the climb without them noticing, let go and sprint to glory. But today I'm riding solo, so, well, I haven't got any friends to hold on to, so I'm gonna have to drag myself up the mountain. The number one and biggest way to improve your climbing without actually cheating is to use momentum properly going into the climb. Don't ease up when you hit the climb. Use that speed and momentum that you've got to get up that first section of the climb. This is something that's especially important when you're on a short, sharper climb. But an important thing to remember is eventually you're gonna run out of momentum and the climb is gonna bite. So a key moment is changing into more manageable gear for the climb. A good way to do this is start in the big ring as you're coming into the climb and in the rear cassette, use a gear that's suitable for climbing. Then when you run out of momentum, that's all you have to do is change from the big ring to the little ring, job done and carry on with the climb. Hairpins are a great place to get some rest as the gradient eases momentarily on the outer section of the corner. Now you can use this to get back up to a more comfortable leg speed if you are starting to struggle a little bit. Or you can use it as a launch pad to really attack the climb and increase your speed to get to the top in the quickest time possible. Hairpins, visually stunning and a great launch pad on any climb no matter what your goals. On the climb, do everything you can to stay in contact with that wheel in front. Push through any hard moments and don't let yourself get dropped. But if you do get dropped, try and do it towards the top. That way you won't have that much ground to cover once you get to the top. You can sprint back on, on the flatter section and be back in the action for the descent. But if you get dropped at the bottom of the climb, well, it's a long way. And you're gonna have to do all the work yourself to the top like I'm doing now. Only another 8K of this to go. <sighs> Where are all my friends at? Hank, Ollie, help! Last up, if you're really trying to smash the climb, embrace riding out the saddle. Deploy this when you're getting to the crest so you know you're approaching the top of the climb. Now, most of us can probably ride out the saddle for a good 30 seconds before we get that urge to sit down. The thing is though, you can put down a bit more power at slower speeds on steep gradients. Aerodynamic plays less of a role and you're just fighting gradients. Get up out the saddle and attack that last section. Resist the urge to sit down and if that means you're beginning to burn right at the end, preserve. Just make it to the top and recover afterwards. The problem is, if you do sit down, you're just gonna lose all momentum and you're probably gonna crack and just fold in on yourself and just ride to the top slowly. So resist that urge, get out of the saddle and attack it. So I hope these sneaky tips have helped you fly up your local climb like an eagle. But let us know down in that comment section below what you find the toughest on your local gradient. Now, that's all the stuff for me to do. Slide down the descent. See ya.